Hello. Good morning, evening, afternoon, night, whatever time it is for you. My name is Anthony, and the question is, can you make a drum rack that contains all the samples you'd ever need to use in the studio or on stage? And the answer is yes. Check this out. So what you're seeing here is a drum rack, and in each one of these slots, you notice kick drum, snare drum, toms, claps, bleeps, perks, closed hi-hats, open hi-hats, um, each one of these slots contains 128 samples. Now, potentially, you've made drum racks before, and the frustrating thing about making drum racks is that you have to take samples from your sample browser and drag them into there and have this whole incredibly long convoluted process of trying to find samples and uh, that suit your song and it just takes a long time you have to go through your sample browser and click on stuff drums blah 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 and then just go through here forever the advantage to having this setup right here is that all your samples are contained in just these slots and so it's really fast to find the sample that you need so maybe you need some sonic variants on stage really quickly. This is the fastest way to do this. So there are many different videos showing different versions of, of this technique, but I'm going to show you what I feel like is the fastest way. Okay, so let's start fresh here. We're going to go up to our instruments and grab a drum rack, drop it into the first MIDI track here, and normally you would just take drum samples and you'd find drum samples that you like, and drag them into each one of these slots. Instead, what we're going to do is, believe it or not, you can put devices also inside of a drum rack, and that's how this whole thing works. So go up to Instruments, grab a sampler, and drop it into slot 1. The next step is to open your Zone Editor right here, and click on this SEL button, which stands for the Chain Selector. So the next step after that is to grab drum samples that you might want to use. Um, I find it pretty useful to just select as many as you can. Click and drag and drop them into there. All right. So at this point, it will tell you down here how many samples you have loaded into the device. The best thing to do is to load 128 samples in here because that's how many samples will fit inside of this little trick that we have. So 128 different samples. I highly doubt that you'll find, at least on stage, usage for more than 128 samples at once. So I'm going to grab uh, some more samples here, drag them in. Now I have 142 samples in total. Now I want to keep it to 128, but I'll, I'll show you how to limit it real quick. What you do at the next step is to click on the first sample and click on the final sample, hold shift, and select them all. Okay, right click then, and then click on distribute ranges equally. Make sure before you do this that you're on the uh, channel selector. The SEL right here is highlighted. When I click this, look what happens. All of a sudden, each one of these drums has their own channel or chain number. Okay, so 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and, and on and on and on. Down here at the bottom, you can see that once I hit 128, they're all just 128. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the second sample that's 128, and the final one, hold shift, click, and then delete. So now, as you can see, I have 128 samples, all distributed equally along these ranges. Okay? So now, what does this mean? What this means is that as I move the selector, and I play the sample, Notice that each one of these different kick drums is coming up. So the next part is just as easy as mapping a macro control to the chain selector. So it's just as easy as clicking over here on your show hide macro controls. All of a sudden they pop up, boink. And then you click map. 
And as you'll notice, the chain selector area is highlighted in green, meaning that it's MIDI mappable. Amazing. So click on it, click on map, and all of a sudden you have a slider control right here, or a, an encoder, I should say, that that can play all of your samples. Incredible. So now you can right click here uh, on your on the uh, macro name and rename it to kicks or whatever you want to call it. And so now you can fill up an entire drum rack as many as you want. A each one of these slots could hold 128 samples. So maybe you want to do the bottom all drums and the top uh, vocals and stuff like that or, or little cuts, bleeps and bloops and things like that. Um, it just makes producing so much faster. I can sit here with any song, I can load the very same drum rack up and just find a sample that suits the song. Uh, so the final step I would say is to kind of close this up a little bit. Click on the little disk image right here in the top right corner and then name this drum rack like Super Rack or something and then all of a sudden you can pull that up whenever you need to. So instead of constantly building drum racks for your stage setup or for your studio setup, you can just go in here and click and drag this into any track and you're ready to go with all the samples that you'll ever really need to use ready to go. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you find this video useful. Um, I'm gonna be making a whole lot more videos uh, having to do with how to use Ableton Live uh, live on stage with other musicians or as a stage performer. Um, there'll also be useful things for producers, but if you find yourself aspiring to want to perform uh, music on stage with Ableton Live, this is the channel that you wanna subscribe to. Or if you're watching this on Facebook, uh, hit the like button. I'll be posting a lot more videos and uh, yeah, thanks for watching.